<laughs> Yo, we talking about groceries on FBA. Yo, easy. <laughs> J to the O, the Mayos. Groceries on FBA. What you know about that? <laughs> Step your game up, suck it. Hey guys, I just wanted to go over uh, using uh, Tactical Arbitrage with their Chrome extension and a few tips on buying shoes. Uh, and currently we are scanning uh, Puma.com uh, and uh, we do have a bulk list for that, so if you're interested in that, see the uh, description. Uh, and we've seen a, uh, a few nice shoes and the one I was really looking at is this most current one right here. Actually, it's not so current anymore since um, the leaves are just pouring in uh, from this site, but um, it's this pink shoe I was looking at, this uh, Vicky uh, Puma's Women's uh, Sneaker. Uh, and there's a few different variations that we like, so, um, you know, 85% ROI. Uh, some are a little less that I've seen. Um, so it's selling for 65 and you make... Um, is about a $50 payout and they're selling for $27. Uh, there was only a size or two available for them. Uh, they're selling for uh, actually $27.50 right now. Uh, so this is a Fox Pink uh, White and the only size um, available is size 7. Uh, and we looked it up on Amazon. Uh, so it's Fox Pink White and size 7 right here. Uh, it's selling for $65. Uh, there is only one seller on it, a plus seller, uh, so it's not being sold by Amazon. Uh, so uh, I went ahead and over and went to Chrome, and if we look this up, uh, uh, this last button here is the uh, Tactical Arbitrage Variation Analyzer. It's free uh, if you're a Tactical Arbitrage user. Uh, if not, there's some kind of small fee, but everybody should be using Tactical Arbitrage, so... Uh, that should be an issue. If you click on the button, uh, what this does is uh, it will analyze all of the variations. Um, I'm going to go ahead and hit rescan so you see what it looks like. And it's going to look at uh, all the variations, all the colors, all the sizes, any kind of variation you have on the listing. And then it's going to look at every review. Um, and it's going to count how many reviews there are for each item in each variation. So in this case, it's going to look at um, each individual variation for each size and each color. Uh, but it's also going to tell you what percentage of the total each size is. Um, and it's going to tell you what percentage of the total each color is. Uh, and then it's going to tell you both. So, you know, the Flox pink and white size 6, and the gray violet white size 6, and uh, so we're going to go ahead and hit the button. I'll show you how that works. It's going to tell you uh, the total. I'm going to go ahead and hit rescan. Um, so it's saying there's nine pages to review. Um, do you want to analyze all, or how many pages do you want to analyze? So it's going to always default to the total amount of pages. You click on analyze, and it'll go through and do the work, but uh, since we've already done it, um, I'm just going to bring up the results. You can download it all as a CSV. Uh, just click there. And it's going to output all this data. So uh, we can see there's 43 aligned, so 42 variations uh, on this listing. Uh, the count is going to be how many reviews there are for each size and each variation. So that's going to tell you the percentage of the total uh, each variation has uh, a link to all of their the child listings, uh, a link to uh, or just the ASIN number, the percentage account, and uh, what the item is. Then we're going to see all of the actual the total sizes for all colors, and then we're going to see the total colors for all sizes. Uh, so a ton of good information uh, there if you choose to download the CSV. Uh, and then if we come back here, um, we can just click on the button again and it's going to bring the information up. If you don't want to download it, we can see. We know that uh, from looking at this listing, oops, that one. 
Uh, the only one available is size 7. Uh, so if we go over here, hit the button and look at size 7 uh, in the flocks pink and white, uh, we're going to see that there is, I believe, only one review. Uh, but when you're looking at the totals for each individual variation, you can see 8, 5, 4. There's not a whole lot of reviews for any single one. Uh, but we can see that 11.9% of the total is in size 7. And uh, the flux pink and white, 10% um, is, uh, is this color variation, and 10% is that size variation. Uh, and with, you know, over 40 total variations, it's really not bad. And there's only one, um, one person competing with you, and they only have one left in stock. Uh, so, you know, this is something that is definitely a good buy. But if we want to further research it, uh, we can see if we go back to uh, the original listing, there are a couple more variations. There's the black and white, and there's the peacoat and white. So if we look at that, there's a bunch of sizes for that available and a bunch of sizes for the black and white available. So uh, again, we can come back here and look. And if we scroll down and look at the, um, the black and white is the top uh, selling one. It has nearly 40% of all the sales. And it's pretty good when there's eight different variations, as well as the peacoat and white uh, only has three reviews across the board that may not be... Um, a great seller, it's not a great color, very dark uh, purple it looks like, um, so that may not be uh, a hot seller on this listing. Um, so I probably would uh, stay away from that, um, but definitely, you know, possibly anything uh, in this variation, um, you know, if there's any money to be made, if it's selling for, you know, only $44 and it's, you know, 35 to buy it, you know, definitely not worth buying. Uh, but I see that there is a 10.5 that's completely sold out. Uh, so that would be another one that I would uh, definitely want. So uh, we got the black, we got the 10.5, it's 38.50. Uh, so you might be able to get 60 bucks out of that. Um, you know, and of course we don't buy a whole lot of anything. Uh, tactical arbitrage and our other sourcing methods are finding us so much stuff that, you know, we're not buying 10 or 20 or 50 or 100 of any item. You know, a lot of times we're buying one or two or three. Um, you know, usually it's around uh, three of an item, especially when there's so many variations. Just on this one listing we found, you know, there might be 20 different shoes uh, that we can buy and uh, tactical arbitrage, you know, is finding hundreds or more a day that are worth buying. So, uh, you know, you have to pick and choose, you know, go as wide as you can. We have uh, well over 2,500 active SKUs uh, on our account and about 20,000 items. So, um, you know, we want to spread that out as much as we can. And we can always come back to these uh, and buy more if they're still in stock. So um, just a few things to think about when uh, when you're sourcing and anything with a variation, whether it's clothes or shoes or, um, you know, even other type items that, um, that have variations. Variations are popping up, uh, you know, in everything. Even they're putting multi-packs of products in grocery, health, beauty, and things like that as variations. And you can get um, a lot of information uh, from there as well. Or, you know, anything that's sharing a rank, is, this tool is going to help you out. Um, and uh, again, if you're using tactical arbitrage, it's free. Uh, so uh, you definitely want to check that out. Thanks a lot.